Order! 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 Okay, an orgy of, of banker bashing is what we're in for, Russell Brand. Do you think that's what, what's happening? I think an orgy of any kind would be great. But, <laughs> but one that focuses on banker bashing would be the best kind of orgy I can imagine. Hey, what you said, mate, was wicked, I thought, saying that the system itself inherently encourages that kind of behaviour. When looking for the culprits and who to prosecute after these transgressions, look for the people that, after that crash, where loads of ordinary people lost loads and loads of money, look for the people that have got loads of bonuses and loads of money, they're the people that are criminal. Those are the people that need to be prosecuted. And whilst to a degree we have to placate the city because our economy is built on it, don't you think it's happened a bit too much that they can behave in this rampaging manner while ordinary people continue to suffer? I think that we need to see punitive measures immediately employed so that it doesn't continue to recur. Not just because of some weird lefty agenda, but because if there are not penalties, the behaviour will happen cyclically. So people need to go down, and it's the people that have got the money that need to go down. If we're going to uh, prosecute bankers for making mistakes, surely we should also prosecute politicians for lying. Yeah. 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 Well, I have great sympathy with that point of view, um, and I think that's what the gentleman who referred to the system was getting at. I mean, uh, there may well be good reason for bringing in a new criminal offence, and there may well be individual bankers who should be deemed to be guilty and should be prosecuted and should be found guilty of those of that or other offences. Um, but I think that it's very easy to kind of whip up a sort of uh, witch-hunty atmosphere against bankers. I mean, one of the reasons why the banking crisis happened it was not simply the greed of individual bankers, be that as it may. It was the fact that the Bank of England uh, took its eye off the ball. The Treasury basically said, let rip. We are going to lift up the regulatory system in order to let rip because we want to get the money coming in. And, you know, there is a responsibility for politicians uh, to bear in, in all this. I'm not saying they should be prosecuted, but it's very easy to single out bankers. I mean, everyone hates bankers, don't they? No. We all hate bankers no. because they're rich. It's so easy to raise a cheer against bankers, isn't it? But actually, it may be that other people are responsible. And it may be that, as someone has said, when you think about it, when you look at what they actually did, is it always going to be so easy to decide when it was um, a bad judgment uh, which is culpable, negligent, incompetent, and where that shades into kind of deliberate and even malicious recklessness? I think we all feel that recklessness should be punished, but I think that we have to be very careful not to just damn everybody. I don't know, like, Melanie, what I'm thinking is, is uh, that, uh, that, that inc incompetence of that degree that has those kind of consequences is indistinguishable from malice, in my opinion. And do you think it might be likely that if 50% of Tory party funding comes from bankers, it might be hard for them to think of ways of penalising their mates? That's where they get half their funding. I if I was 50% funded by people, I would be reluctant to penalise them. That's how it works. When you're saying the politicians and the bankers, there ain't that much of a distinction, as far as I can work out. Yeah. OK. I, I just, uh, I, 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 I think I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Russell, on that, on that last point, because I think one of the, one of the, the Chapman Spectacles who asked the, the question about how do you target the right culprits, that seems to me to be the, the key problem. Yes, you probably could frame a law that would, that would stop bankers who took extreme risks with, with other people's money, but what about the Labour government? Uh, who were in power in the period, as, as Melanie uh, indicates, leading up to the, the crisis. Yeah. There they were, uh, sitting there deregulating. Uh, Gordon Brown went to, the, uh, went to the City of London in June 2007 and said, we are entering a golden age of banking and the City of London. And, and what kind of signal did that send to those people? All right. Now, should Let Gordon me... Brown be sent to prison? Tessa Jowell, is Tessa right, Jowell, let, she, 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 she was part of that government, should she be sent to prison? Tessa Jowell, let her I, 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 I sincerely hope not, I'd go and visit Boris, Tessa in prison. Let, let, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, should, 